So I don't have much space in my bedroom studio, but I still wanted to play real drums without a full electronic kit and without punching notes into the MIDI grid. So I built these DIY drum triggers from Ikea cork boards, mouse pads, a couple of contact mics, and some 3D printed parts. My desk is my entire studio. It's literally right next to my bed. There's no room for a drum kit, an acoustic kit, or anything in between. I wanted something I could build once then tuck away, but still capture the dynamics and real-time groove of playing a real kit. For the kick drum, I didn't DIY it. I just used a Yamaha KU100. I bought it online and it's super compact and honestly, it saved me a ton of hassle. I'm using the Roland TM2 drum brain, which accepts triggers like these and even splits one input into two pads. Here's how I made a couple drum pads out of IKEA parts that it actually responds to how hard I hit it. The drum pads themselves are pretty simple. The mouse pad on top of a cork board absorbs the impact. Underneath, I mounted a contact mic with hot glue and then mounted the cork board and mouse pad drum head to a 3D printed shell. The 3D printed shell houses a quarter inch patch cord input that the contact mic hooks up to. I'm using a stereo splitter cable so that the ride cymbal and the snare hits from each module are routed into input 1 on the TM2. I'll link the exact model of that cable below as well as all the other gear I use to make these drum heads. You can play these drums with drumsticks, hands, even a spoon, or anything you can really hit a drum with. And the best thing about them is that they still track the note velocity, which I think is a key to a dynamic and realistic drum performance. One thing to watch for is the size of your contact mic. I started with 15 millimeter pesos and they worked, but the sensitivity was underwhelming. Swapping to 35 millimeter made a huge difference in the dynamic range and playability. It just became so much more sensitive. So pick a size that works for you and your style. Compared to typing in notes, this is way more fun than if you, even if you're not a trained drummer. The contact mic tracks your playing velocity and the TM2 sends MIDI to Logic. No need for extra plugins. You can use any kind of drum plugin or even the Logic drummer to make it work. Here's what the pads sound like. And now here's what it's like using the QWERTY keyboard. Not even close. For sketching grooves, recording ideas, or just jamming without a full kit, this setup works. And it cost me next to nothing. The cork boards were only a few bucks at Ikea. The mouse pads were free. I was there getting thrown out for my workplace. Contact mics and the quarter inch input jack were pretty cheap on Amazon. As I said, I'll link them below in the description. And the 3D files, I designed these myself and printed them. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, there's usually maker labs within most cities that allow you to print things at a reasonable cost. I didn't walk through the full build process in this video, but if you're interested in seeing exactly how I made them, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to make a follow-up and maybe build something, a version two, that's a little bit more improved. Subscribe if you want more DIY music tech ideas. This is my first video like this, so thanks for watching if you made it this far.